day, this is Brad here from CD Tennis here at Crooker Creek. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of court positioning and where you want to be on the court relevant to the shots that you're hitting. So, magnificently, we have a blue line right here which is designed for the 10 and under kids. But we're going to use that line as a reference point for our full court play at the same time. So, watching a lot of these altar matches that are now starting to happen, we see a lot of players get pulled forward from the baseline a little bit in an uncomfortable zone, but they get pulled forward just in front of this blue line for a short ball, and we see them then playing the shot, then trying to back up real quick to get back to the baseline. The problem you have a lot of the time is that once you get pulled forward, by the time your opposition plays the next shot, you're moving backwards, so when you get the ball, you end up going backwards at the same time as you play your shot, causing you to be defensive. So what I want you to think about is when you get pulled forward in front of this blue line right here, is that instead of hitting the shot and going backwards, you already make up your mind that you're going to play the shot and you can continue up to the net to get a position at the net. I always say on a tennis court, think about it, you have two homes, okay? One is up at the net, one is back here. When you're in this area here, I'm going to call you homeless to some degree, okay? So my two homes, I've got one up there called Australia, one back here called Atlanta. I like to go to Australia, but that's me. If you like to go to Atlanta back here, go there. But I don't want you to get stuck in this area because it really is no man's land. So rule of point, once you get past this blue line right here and your momentum is carrying you forward, go up to the net and take a trip to Australia. Thank you.